It's a fascinating note out by um, that you've written. Secular ice wave is the theme we want to focus on here in terms of global markets. Just tell me what that means for what investors should look ahead to in the third quarter. Absolutely. So secular ice wave is effectively a reference to the secular stagnation from Larry Summers, but also the ice age theory um, by Albert Edwards from Société Générale. Um, the point is that you have close to 12, uh, $13 trillion of bonds carrying negative yield. And this is pretty much a testimony, testimony to the fact that um, you could be heading towards an environment of lower growth for longer. Coco, good to see you this morning. Um, the imagery that you use is, is pretty phenomenal. You talk about the secular stagnation. And the second phase is the Ice Age thesis. From the tone of your notes, I get the sense that you might agree with J.P. Morgan that we could be heading towards this 0% in U.S. Treasuries over the medium term. Is that a, is that a, a reasonable concurrence? Well, uh, yes, because if you look at uh, the U.S. business cycle, it's currently one of the longest in history. Um, and clearly cycles exist for a reason. Uh, you tend to have dislocation in terms of uh, balance sheet uh, and the massive rise of debt. Uh, and this is pretty much what we saw uh, in, in the U.S. in, in the uh, high yield space. So you currently you have uh, five. Uh, $2.5 trillion of triple B rated debt, which is a consequence of low interest rates uh, that we've been carrying for the past 10 years. So the bottom line, yes. So the path of least resistance is for a slowdown if you look at global trade, if you look at China, uh, and if you look at the, uh, the, the uh, sort of difficulty with which the U.S. is currently uh, gener generating uh, uh, growth. What's, the, what's a way to monetize this environment of lower rates, Koku, beyond just simply wanting to buy bonds in the U.S.? Well, one interesting uh, trade that we like a lot is forward volatility on, on rates. Um, today, the uh, curve in dollar rates uh, vol is downward sloping, uh, and typically when the Fed engages in easing cycle historically not only do we see a flattening of the curve in the very long end or a bull steepening uh, as you typically see but you also see a pickup in dollar rates volatility in the long end of the curve Coco, you, you talk about this secular ice wave theme and you, you put it together very nicely, equity trades, vol trades and FX trades. I'm looking at your European exposure because you talk about what I think is quite a classic trade, which is that you want to be long utilities and you want to be short banks against that. Just talk me through where we are in the cycle of that trade and how much more of it there is to come. Well, this is simply a theme around value versus quality. Uh, in an environment where you have lower bond yield uh, or even negative yielding bonds, uh, sort of financials and banks typically have a tougher time because it has an adverse impact on their, their net interest margins. But utilities and defensive or bond proxy typically do well. So this is a trade that clearly has been uh, classic, as you said, but it's something that, in our view, could generate more momentum going forward.